This one's gonna be a little bit different. Um, I've like I met like one of my subscribers, Kronos, yesterday who just got Titanfall 2, and I, and he's brand new to it. And I'm like, I, I like if people were learning how to play Titanfall 2, I actually kind of want to explain how some of this game works, like how to play as the Titans, the new pilots. So if you're just from Titanfall 1, this video might be really helpful. So first, we're gonna look at the pilots. We have all this we're gonna cover really quick. It won't take too long. But if you're from Titanfall 1, you notice all these different guys. I'm gonna explain how each one of these guys can be very helpful in combat with their own scenarios that I've played as each and every one of them so I know how their scenarios work. By the way, this is all How I would use this guy, if you're a sniper, I would highly suggest cloak because you could be cloaked right before you're about to shoot someone on a roof or something. But that's my opinion. Or when you're running away from a titan. So cloak would be very useful, not to get out of situations, but more to getting in position to open fire. Pulse blade. This guy can literally throw a knife and see uh, from a short distance, like everyone through that location. So like you literally throw a knife and it'll like a sonar scan. But how I would use this guy is that if you're like full on running everywhere, you just want to screw everyone like um, like you're like a short range kind of guy constantly running, not staying in place. I would highly suggest pulse play so you know we're going to turn around the corner and all that. Like this is pretty helpful. Grapple, another good class for sniper to get to other places quicker. Or if you're like the fast runner type I said, this would also be very helpful. You could just get around the map super quick, just a whole grapple. Okay, so the stim, this one's a little bit different. He can be a mix for a lot of things, but I'd highly suggest using like shotguns for this or just getting out of scenarios. This guy can like book it. And if you're caught in like a gravity star, which will I'll explain what that is, he will pretty much get out of that situation pretty easily. So now the A wall. This is a particle shield. Of course, you can read right there. So you would chuck it and basically hold off a bunch of fire. But how I would suggest this guy's played as is, if you, it would also be good for a sniper. Like sniper works really good for most of these classes, but a wall, it's best for sniper to be honest. Okay, so phase shift. This guy can get out of any snare, and he can get out of being stepped on by a titan or getting out of the line of fire. So he's a hit and run type of class, if you know what I mean. And then my personal favorite, the hollow pilot. What? Say you're running and then you know someone's down there, make a hollow pilot and your and your guy, like a mimic of yourself would run down there. So while the, you, when you realize that where the sniper is, he shoots him, you can go sneak attack him. This guy is basically your distraction type and then he'll go pretty much wreck him for you. So now let's get to the ordinances. We have the frag grenade. Everyone knows what the frag grenade is used for. The arc grenade is just like the frag, but it has an electric touch to it, like stuns pilots and blind titans. So yeah, the fire star, it's basically like a Molotov, I would say. It, it's pretty useful. Um, the gravity star is what I like. What it does is it chucks it and it makes a gravity wall. Any enemies that go into it will be snared for a little bit and take damage from it. And bullets, if you're shooting bullets near that gravity star, it will suck it into it. So it's basically like to help you take the heat off of you. Electric smoke. So if you all played the first time, well, you know what electric smoke grenade is. Well, not a grenade, but electric smoke in general. This is like your very personal electric smoke. You can just chuck it as a grenade. Then a satchel. This is like uh, detonators. You'll hold the detonator, place your traps, and boom, boom, boom. You have your own personal grenades, but okay. We're not gonna get, well, we're not gonna get into the guns, cause, well, that's pretty obvious. But here we go. Power Cell just makes faster cooldown, fast regen, I like to use this, uh, I get healed way quicker. Phase Embark is very useful sometimes, but health, I prefer health regen over it. Basically, while that, besides the whole animation where it's like bringing you into the Titan, boom, you're already in the Titan, you just phase right into it. Then the Ordinance Expert is okay, I don't really see this often though, because it's not that good. But here we're gonna go into kit two. Kill report, so basically let's say you're tracking someone down and then he dies all of a sudden. But if you didn't have this on, you wouldn't know he's dead. This lets me see if someone's dead or not. Wall hang, pretty simple. Hold LT to hold onto the wall, so yeah. However, 
If you're using hover, that's okay. I don't really prefer this because that makes you an easy target. Like when I was playing online, I accidentally dissed one of my subscribers saying that it sucked and I didn't know he used it. So I apologize for it, but I pretty much just said, most of the people I've seen use this don't know how to use it well. Like they hover in the midair in the middle of the battlefield and anyone can just take him out right there and then. Low profile, that's really useful and all, but that will only work with Titans, not with pilots, because they have a radar, you know, so. Basically, your jump jets make no sound, and when you're embarking on a Titan, like a rodeoing him, it's a delay on when you're when it tells the Titan that someone's on him. Titan Hunter, I don't even see this at all. It just increases your time to get your Titan. And uh, executions, we have a bunch of these. We're not gonna go into these because everyone knows what they are, but you can choose your own execution and everything. But okay, now let's get into the Titans. All seven. So anyways, let's start with Ion. Ion is the type is, well, how would I say? Um, Ion is like a very strategic type. Like she has her own uh, power source. Like her abilities would cost power, even her bullets. Like certain abilities would cost bullets. So if you want to be like a strategic type, she does a lot of damage if you know how to use her right. Like if, you want to pause the video, you can read all of her abilities right there, but I'm going to move on. Oh, but first, let me just get through this really quick. Titan kits. These will, all these can be put in your Titan, but only one at a time. I prefer the Assault Chip because I have a thing called Warp Fall. Right when the Titan comes in, he immediately goes into Auto Titan mode, and I think this would really help keep my Titan alive a little bit longer when I try to get to it. Stealth Auto Eject. Ejects immediately when you're doomed. It's useful and all. But sometimes I don't like it because I'm about to finish them while I'm in doom mode, if that makes sense. So, if you know you're just going to die no matter when doom mode, I would highly suggest recommending this. Overcore. I do not recommend this to, for most Titans, like Ronin, for an example. His sword ability is okay, but it's not the most useful. Um, the turbo engine, it adds an extra dash, basically. Uh, I guess that's sort of useful to most Titans, but some, it's a bad idea. Nuclear injection. Now, this is a pretty good one. This, this is how I would suggest it for Ronin. I'll get to him in a minute. Actually, no, I'll explain it to him when I get there. And then counter. Like, an electric smoke will be automatically ready. You don't need to wait for that to spawn in. So, yeah. Um. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's two different Titanfall kits. The one, the Doom, the Doom, bleh, the Dome Shield, which everyone knows. And then the Warpfall, which I pr propose. It's half the time, and he goes immediately into autopilot mode and so like if you're playing multiplayer you don't need to wait for him to get out of that dome to uh, wreck all the titans near him so now we're going with scorch here scorch i do not recommend i just don't like him he, he's pretty useless in my opinion like i've played scorch i never got a single kill with this titan like the only time i did get a kill was by accident is when i stepped on a pilot so it's he's not very good in my opinion he's mostly the meat shield type but basically Think of a flamethrower, but in a form of grenade. It's a one-shot grenade launcher, and all of his ability involves fire. So if you're that kind of guy, then I would suggest that. North Star. He's the legitimately sniper of the group. He can make tether traps and make shoot cluster missiles, and he can actually fly, basically, for a little bit. Like, three, four seconds, I think. But his tether traps will help him, like, if you... Like, and it'll let you know if it's activated. It will pretty much keep the time where they are so you can track them down. But my North Star kick I have right now is I can see enemies, like they'll be marked red. So if electric smoke uh, is really hard to see through and that really helps me see them. Ronin, here we go. So Ronin is the hit and run type. Um, Yeah, he has super freakishly low health. And if you guys know the lead well from the first time fall, thank goodness is no longer a grenade launcher. It is now a shotgun. His melee we his melee is actually a sword, so that's really useful. He can block incoming fire, and it costs no ability whatsoever. He can hold it until he dies, basically. The arc wave. Oh, okay, the arc wave is super good. I've used this. The best way to use this is with tone, legion, and ion. He, you know those shields they put up like. Legion puts up a gun shield in front of his gun. His arc wave can take out that gun shield. Ion, her shield, he can take that out. Uh, Tone's particle wall, he can also take that out. But let's get to here. If you ever get the phase reflex for the Ronin kit, 
I would do it. And if you mix it with the with the nuclear injection, it will cut it in half the time, so it gives people less time to run. But I don't prefer that. I like the assault chip because the warp fall kit. But now we're going on to Tell. He literally is like the bazooka man. He is very mixed on what his job is, but I would suggest he's like one of the support characters. Well, not a major one, but a minor one. Like he'll summon a particle wall right in front of him so people can hide behind it while they're all shooting and they're totally fine. He, his gun, what he does is shoots and then after three shots on that Titan, he can shoot missiles that will lock on. Sorry, ugh, that will lock onto him. And he also has a sonar lock, so it's basically the pulse blade, but a huge range, and it only works once. Like, there's only one pulse, and then it's gone, if that makes sense. So now we're going on the Legion, the biggest meat shield there is. He is the minigunner of the group, and he has a gun shield, so basically he has a mobile particle shield, and he has a minigun, so he's, he's like, the main job is a meat shield, basically. And we're going on the newest Titan that I did my last Titanfall video on is him. This guy is literally considered a kill stealer. Like, if you're ever playing in Titan Brawl, I'll get into the game modes next, but if you're ever playing ti uh, Titan Brawl, he will basically never die. He's the only Titan with his core upgrades will upgrade him while in combat, and there's you can change between all of them, but they're the higher they go, the better they are. But his Monarchy I have, when he executes a Titan, he will actually steal their battery core. And if you don't, if you don't prefer that, he get batteries will take him out of doom mode. That that's very OP if you ask me. But now that we got through the titans, we're gonna go through the boost now. If you now notice, the smart pistol is no longer a primary weapon in the first game, and it's now a boost. So what boosts are? They're basically like the cards you'd get in Titanfall One, but you have to earn them over time, and you can only have one. Like activation costs eighty percent, and when you're getting your titan, there's percents now. So, to get your Titan at 100%, so by the time you get Amped Weapons, your Titan will be already almost ready. So, all that. But Amped Weapons, Increases Damage, Ticks, is like a mobile landmine, which will attack Titans too. Pilot Centuries, pretty obvious what they do. Map Hack, yeah, obvious. Radar Jammer, that will pretty much, it's like the opposite of a map hack for enemies, so that's really good. Battery, um, this will basically give you an extra battery right on the spot so when your Titan comes in, he gets a shield immediately. Titan Sentry, also pretty obvious. Um, phase Rewind. So that will basically take you back to your original location. Like, let's say you're behind cover and then someone notices where you are. Jump through the window, use Phase Rewind, and then all of a sudden you're right behind them. Because it teleports you, like, five seconds to your last location. Um, Hollow Pilot, we've already explained what that is. Dice Roll is basically a mix of everything, and that's 50%. So, it's pretty useful. But here we go. I'm gonna explain these really quick because I only got two minutes left to explain what everything does. Attrition, everyone knows that. Bounty hunt. You have specific locations to fight to fight grunts and specters. You get money and you bring them in to uh, you bring them into the um, a bank where you can store your money. Team with the most money at the end wins. Amp uh, hard points. It's basically holding bases and capturing others. That's basically what it is. Last time standing is last pilot standing kind of like the last one to the team with the longest like uh, the last time standing wins basically and it's a team battle by the way capture the flag pretty simple pilots okay so it's just pilot versus pilot it's like normal call of duty um live fire that's basically like pvp but this is the pre pvp version or last time standing of pvp basically so last pilot standing okay so, hold on, uh, Titan Brawl. This is the one, we're thinking of a pilot only match, this is a Titan only match. So this is when Monarch is really good in. And then March for Death. Um, basically it's a team battle, but if you're March for Death, people will protect you and stuff like that. Okay, so hold on. The Coliseum is very new to this game. That's basically where you get tickets from which you earn from games and you battle like 1v1 and Pretty much to give you random weapons. Frontier Defense is back. Thank you all so much for watching. Had to go through this super quick.